G'day Ashley and Emma. It's Matt here from South Australia, Wayne Phyllis Used Cars. We're located in Ranella, so we're about 20 minutes south of the CBD itself um, in Adelaide, so not too far away from central Adelaide. And um, yeah, we do a lot of interstate deals, as I've mentioned to you on the phone already. So I'm gonna show you what my service is like, obviously try and do as much on the video as I can for starters, and then we can help you through the rest of the process shortly after if it's ticking all the boxes. It's a one of a kind rig, so like you said, it'll be very hard to compare and um, I'll show you those reasons why going through the car with the features and the condition and everything else, mate. So hopefully it ticks all the boxes for you. Um, just a bit about us, obviously we sell Kia, Ford and Isuzu brand new and then we get an array of used cars here on a stretch of the road. So we'll probably average around 30 to 40 used cars at a time and, and pump out about probably 50 or 60 a month. So quite popular, but um, the one you've picked here is very unique. It's a, it's a local South Australian car. It's got the all-terrain BF uh, Goodrich tyres, which as you can see are near on new. It's got the old man emu um, setup in it, the suspension. So that is obviously raised up a little bit higher than normal, which is perfect for off-roading. Obviously, you can probably see from the photos the originally that you've seen the intensity ARB lights, which are really, really bright. I'll turn them on as we go around the car. And we'll go underneath. The, it might not be able to hear me, so I'll shut up for a minute, but we'll just go underneath to show you how clean it is. So a little bit of dirt underneath there, but you can see the, uh, the old man Emu set up there that goes right across to the other side. Um, apart from obviously the normal dirt and things that you get underneath, there's no real leaks, nothing really, um, you know, it hasn't really been seriously bush bashed or anything like that. The actual person that owned this car was local to us as well, so it looks like they've used it for towing more than anything and just going away in, which is also what they're built for. I say that because of obviously all the racks that are on top, the snorkel, um, it's got the trays in the back. It's obviously got a, um, uh, a plug in the back as well, like an Anderson plug to charging fridges and things like that. So I would say that's what it's predominantly built for and used for from this person's point of view. But yeah, it's, um, it's ready to rock and roll. Probably the only thing missing from the exterior that I can see and point out is would be maybe tinting those windows, especially with the location of where you guys are up in, um, up in the top end there, you'd want to probably protect the interior a little bit better. So that's probably the only thing missing from it. We do that. So I can give you a quote on that if you want. You've got the snorkel on here, which is all genuine. The racks on the top as well. It's one of the larger racks, so it looks pretty cool actually. So that all kits out the roof nicely. Just jump inside. The car as well, the trim is really, really well kept. All the carpets are good. All the seats are good. There's no real rips or tears in those. On the dash, I'll just point out there is a hole, a couple of holes here where they've obviously had some sort of a unit. Looks like a um, maybe a talkback or a radio. Um, obviously, it's been kitted up here now by the looks. So they got the Uniden CB radio there with a few little um, trick bits, all nice and neatly tucked up there. So maybe they've moved that. Also, there's a couple of little marks here where they've obviously had something come. Um, um, glued into that spot, so that's obviously just marked that a little bit, but apart from that, the rest is all um, looking pretty good. So you got CD player, Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary USB there, air conditioning and heating, a few of the buttons there for the uh, the lighting setup, which we'll get around to doing. Um, even in here, obviously plenty of room inside there as well. Storage. Six airbags in the car as well jump into the rear all the rear is in excellent condition as well all the seats are there even the rear seats are in the back it's even got a little uh, cargo area up here as well it's all been decked out really really neatly very much a one-of-a-kind sort of four-wheel drive um, rear cooler controls again just show you the CB up there show you all the uh, even the air conditioning goes all the way through uh, even into the back even all the uh, headlining is really, really good, Nick. I always point all that out. So we're coming into about four minutes of this video now. I'll still keep going around, but if I need to shoot anything more that I miss, guys, let me know and I'll, I'll do as many as you like. We might even be able to go underneath the car here as well. Show 
show you that it is very, very clean underneath there and tidy, not leaking anything. So it's been running for the last four or five minutes while I've been doing this. Obviously the, the rear tires are as good as the, the front. Same with the spare there on the back. It's got a heavy duty tow bar. It's got a flat pin and a round pin connection. Obviously very capable of towing. The old man Emi system in the back as well. All looking very tidy underneath there. It's even got a camera which we'll get around to showing you. And as you've probably seen from the photos, all the Titan drawer system as well. These are really cool. Very smooth and lockable drawers. So both of those sides working, all your toolkit there as well. I won't go through all that because I'll run out of video, but I mean, you get the gist of obviously how it's all been kitted out. There's your Anderson plug, obviously charging things, 12 volt socket as well. So plenty for plug and, uh, plug and play. Awesome rig, all the paint works immaculate on this. So as I said to you, it doesn't look like it's done a lot of work, guys. So I hope you're impressed with this. It's a nice um, sunny day here today in Adelaide, which is good. So now we'll jump into the driver's side here. Just show you, so all the power windows are there. All the driver's seats looking good. Both the keys are there. So they're all good as well with the central locking. Uh, cruise control is on the steering wheel. It's only traveled 56,000 as you know. Uh, next service will be next year or at 66. Um, the other thing I didn't show you was the books. It's actually got full Nissan service history. So if we just jump into here, locally owned car. Gentleman was down in Warradale, which is where I live. It's only about 15 minutes drive from here. And we'll just uh, flick through and show you. So the first one was done at 2000. That was done at Main North Nissan at the other side of town. And then he went to uh, Unley Nissan, which is near the city. So 10,000 Ks. And 20,000 Ks. And 30,000 Ks. and 40,000 Ks, and then we've done the next one. So it's a little bit longer, this one, because he traded it obviously a little bit later. So 40 to 56, that's not gonna hurt the car, but it's all been done. Um, so yeah, full books, owner's manual's all there. Um, might just turn these lights on if I can work it all out. And then we'll go underneath the uh, hood. Bit of loose wiring there. I might have to just tidy that up a little bit and hide that behind the dash. That'll be for a number of things, but other than that, I really can't fault the car, to be honest. So we'll just keep going around it. And see now the lights are on. Those high intensity lights, I'll try and turn those on. I think it's the switch inside here. Let's see if we've got those working. Uh, nope, might be the high, high beam maybe. Just bear with me one sec. I'll have to muck around with that in a minute, but they will work obviously. So um, there'll be a setup for those, obviously either having the high beam on or vice versa. So might just try one other one other option. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's also got temperature gauge and boost up here as well, all neatly uh, fitted to the, to the car as well. Let's try and muck around with this and see if that brings on the... Um, the lights if not we'll go underneath the bonnet that's the main thing now i'll have to work out how to turn them on there's obviously a separate switch for them so i'll come back to you with that um so let me put the phone down for one sec back sorry just had to undo it's very hard to get the latch underneath here with one hand so dual batteries you can see they're all set up it's got a uh, nice easy cooler set up there as well so all running smoothly underneath there all ready to rock and roll again just try and uh, show you through the car and just show you that everything's pretty clean and tidy underneath there as, as best as I can All 
Bugatti. So that pretty much completes the video. Thanks again for the call, Ashley. Hope the uh, missus uh, still loves the car. And um, yeah, that's gone for 10 minutes. That's probably one of my longest videos. So enjoy it and um, let me know if I've missed anything and uh, we'll chat soon. Cheers.